Okay, Latin 2. Today's lesson is going to be the last new lesson that we're going to have this year with new material. After this week, we're going to spend what time we have left in June in systematic vocabulary review. Now, you have supplied to you today a PDF and also a complete dictionary of everything for today's translation. Please take advantage of the opportunity to use that dictionary and the PDF to attempt your own translation before you then compare it to my video lesson. If all you ever do is just copy down what you see in my video, you really can't grow as a translator. Now, be aware Today is Monday. You're also going to meet on Wednesday and Friday. I am not going to be available in Google Meet today um, because I need to go to Leonia to deliver the honor cords for the seniors who then get to wear them when they record for their virtual graduation. So when your class is meeting, I am either going to still be at Leonia taking care of that business, or maybe I'll be driving home. Um, but again, for today, you have more than enough to do during your class period. You've got the PDF, you've got the supplied vocabulary sheet, attempt your own translation, and then, and only then, begin comparing it to the video lesson. On Wednesday, as as things will be back to normal, I will be in the Google Meet on Wednesday after you have finished your study of the passage. Come in after you have taken the four-question mini Socrative, and we can discuss the questions. And then on Friday, after you have again reviewed all of this material, you'll have the full Socrative that counts. Okay, let's get started. Posturidie. Cum quintus et dumnorix ad ultimas partes insulae contenderent, milites dumnorigem per opidum frustra quaerebant. The next day. Now, take a look at something, Latin 2. Cum. Hopefully, because of all the study we've done for a few weeks, when you see cum, you think, okay, it might mean with, but I have to double check whether or not there's an ablative after cum. If there's an ablative, then yes, it'll mean with. But if it's anything not ablative, we've been translating it as when. But I want to look, I want to show you, look at what I'm doing here. I'm not translating cum here as when. I'm translating it as while. Okay, when is almost always the correct translation, but there are some other uses of cum with the subjunctive where you might translate it as while, you might translate it as since or although. And the reason I'm translating it as while is, take a look at this verb, people. We have, up until today, only had pluperfect subjunctive after cum. And last week, I know we stressed over and over again your ability to recognize the pluperfect subjunctive with that very distinctive isse ending, but that's not what we have here. Here we have imperfect subjunctive. So imperfect, as you know, is like was doing something or were doing something. And so Cum dumnorix, cum quintus et dumnorix contenderent, while quintus and dumnorix were hurrying. Where were they hurrying? Ad ultimas partes insulae, to the farthest away parts of the island. Milites, soldiers, quaerebant, were searching. They were searching frustra in vain, meaning they were searching and he couldn't find him. Who were they searching for in vain? Dumnorigem, for Dumnorix. Where were they searching for Dumnorix in vain? Per opidum, through the village. Rem denique salvio nuntia verunt. Finally, denique. This is basically a synonym of tandem that you've already had, denique, finally. 
Finally, they announced the matter to Salvius. Ille cum de fuga dum noregis cognovisset vehementer saiviebat. Ille that one. Now, remember, all last week we talked about how cum ordinarily means when, and it does ordinarily mean when, especially when you have this pluperfect subjunctive. So even though I just got done explaining to you while in one particular case I translated cum as while, we are back to cum meaning when. So that one understood Salvius. When he had learned de fuga domnorigus about the escape of Domnorix. What was he doing? Vehementer saiviebat was vehemently seething, understood was seething with anger. What does it mean to seethe? To seethe is to be so angry that like you're, you're gritting your teeth and going like, oh God, I'm so angry. Ah, That's what seething means. Okay, so remember, Domnorix is friends with Quintus, who are also friends with Cogidubnus. And the backstory here is Salvius has basically now thrown Cogidubnus in jail after unsuccessfully attempting to assassinate him. And now Quintus, as we remember from the plan that they came up with, Quintus and Domnorix are now on horses uh, going up to the farthest parts of the island, that is the northern parts of Britannia, and they're going to try to tell Agricola, the general, about this stuff that Salvius has just done. So Salvius obviously does not want Quintus and Domnorix to succeed in spreading this plan up to Agricola. So now that he's searching for Domnorix, and he knows that Domnorix is against him, he's basically quite angry when he realizes Domnorix is nowhere to be found. Quintum, quae siwit. He searched for Quintus. So after he realizes Domnorix can't be found, he thinks, oh God, what about Quintus? Where's Quintus? So now he searched for Quintus. And guess what? Quintus also is nowhere to be found. Cum eum quoque nusquam invenire potuisset belimicem Principem cantiacorum arcesivit. When he was able, cum potuisset. Now, I'm going to translate literally this first clause, and then we're going to talk about what a better English translation would be. When he was able, quoque also, to find in venire, eum, him. Nusquam means nowhere. So, when he was also able to find him nowhere, better English would be to negativize the verb. So instead, when he was also not able to find him anywhere, meaning Quintus, what did he do? Arcesiwit. He summoned Belimachus. Who is Belimachus? Belimachus is principem cantiacorum, chieftain of the Cantiaci. Belimice inquit, iste dum norex e manibus meis e fugit. Belimicus, he said, that dum norex has escaped out of my hands. Abest quoque Quintus Caecilius. Quintus Caecilius is also absent. Now, remember, Quintus, we called him Quintus all through book one, but in fact, all good Romans have three names, actually. And um, Caecilius is actually the clan name. We called Caecilius Caecilius, but it's really the clan name so that we could distinguish people. So Quintus's full name includes also the clan. Neque dum norigi, neque quinto credo. Credo means I trust or I believe. It takes dative as its object. And so the I of Dumnorigi and the O of Quinto are dative endings. Now the word neque always occurs with another neque. And we use two of them together 
to mean what in English we express with the concept neither nor, okay? Now, be aware of some other things that act this way. When you use et twice, you can translate it as both and. The word well means or, but when you have well followed by another well, you translate it as either or. So again, we have here the negative is the object. So I trust neither Dumnorix nor Quintus. Another option is to go ahead, negativize the verb, and then you would turn neither nor into either or. I do not trust either Dumnorix or Quintus. Duc milites tecum. Lead soldiers with you. Now, better English, if you were telling somebody to go with some soldiers to go do something, rather than say lead soldiers with you, you, went, you might say in English take soldiers with you. But be aware, duke of course means to lead. It is the irregular imperative. So remember, we've seen this before. Duke, dic, fac, fer. Ought to be an e but it isn't there. So the imperatives for to lead, to say, to do, to bring, should have an E, but they don't have an E. The normal rule, of course, is when you want to form an imperative, you start with the infinitive and you just remove the RE. So to look for or to search for the infinitive quaerere becomes quaere. And that's exactly what we have here. Illos quaere in omnibus partibus opidi. Search for them in all the parts of the village. Quaere servus quoque eorum. Search also for their slaves. The word eorum means of them. It is genitive plural. Facile es nobis servos torquere et verum ita cognoscere. It is easy for us to torture the slaves, and thus, ita means thus, and thus to learn the truth. So, Latin 2, I gotta tell you, this is quite a cliffhanger I'm leaving you on for the end of the school year. We've got Quintus and Dumnorix racing to the north of Britannia, trying to reach Agricola and tell him about the crimes of Salvius. We've got Salvius now is going to torture the slaves of Quintus and Dumnorix to find out maybe if they know the plan and basically... Uh, we've got a long road ahead of us, people. But now, be aware of something. We are actually ahead of where we were last year. As a class, last year, Latin II did not make it this far. The reason we've actually been able to get farther than we would have is because, unfortunately, the whole quarantine thing has actually meant us not doing a lot of the fun things we might have taken a day to do. Things like, for instance, you guys deserved to watch a movie, and we never did, okay? Um, and that might have been three days right there. So the fact is, I'm going to make it up to you, okay? When life gets back to normal, um, I've worked you guys hard, okay? And I'm very proud of you, all right? Next year, you're going to get the fun stuff that we didn't get this year. So do your best. Study this video. Again, I, I won't be in the meet today, but I will be there on Wednesday. See you then. Bye-bye.